been suspended from the University of Florida football team. The Gators' backup quarterback was arrested. 19-year-old Kitna is the son of former NFL QB John Kitna. There are days where I come on this channel and give you guys some pretty awesome content. Like, the Mike White situation is a pretty nice underdog story. I mean, not so nice for Zach Wilson, but it's pretty nice from the perspective of just rooting for an underdog and a whole team getting behind an underdog. Unfortunately, today's not one of those days. This video is not uplifting. As a matter of fact, it's really sad, really horrible, and honestly, there's no happy ending to this at all whatsoever. This video is going to get demonetized, so drop a like to support it as much as you can because it's a really dark and sad story of wasted potential and just a truly horrible piece of shit human being. Now that we get all that out of the way, break! Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? John Kitna was a very respected quarterback during his time in the NFL. I mean, he had highs and lows as a player. He was originally undrafted in 1996, played a little bit for the Seattle Seahawks. Then he would stop by and play for the Barcelona Dragons in NFL Europe before playing what I would consider his prime years during the 2001 to 2005 season for the Cincinnati Bengals. During the 2003 season, the Bengals would draft Carson Palmer. John Kitna would have one of his best seasons during the 2003 season because despite drafting Carson Palmer with the number one overall pick, John Kitna still played the entire season for the Cincinnati Bengals. Probably when was the last time you saw that happen? In that season, John Kitna threw 26 touchdowns to 15 interceptions. I guess Carson Palmer was all the extra motivation he really needed before stepping down to a mentor role for Carson Palmer. As a matter of fact, when John Kitna left the Cincinnati Cincinnati Bengals in 2005, Carson Palmer stated that it was something that really bothered him. And it was a huge reason behind the rift between the Cincinnati Bengals and Carson Palmer. Kitna would then go and spend some time with the Detroit Lions. He was on that famous team that would lose all of their games during the regular season before joining the Cowboys for the final three seasons of his career in a backup role. He actually was the Cowboys QB coach in 2019 as well. And currently he coaches at Burleson High School. And he currently has four children with his wife, Jenny Kitna, one of which who happened to commit to the University of Florida, the Florida Gators, where he became the backup quarterback. He was a three-star recruit by the name of Jalen Kitna. I don't want to come here and make projections of a career because Jalen Kitna was a three-star recruit. Was he in a position where he could eventually be the starting QB for the Florida Gators? Possibly. Was he in a situation where at the very minimum, his father's connections could probably get his foot in the door as a NFL head coach or an NFL executive or a film room guy or some type of assistant in the world of football? Most definitely. Unfortunately, none of those things are going to happen because if what is alleged is true, Jalen Kitna is truly a horrific person. Truly one of the scummiest human beings that resides on our planet. You might be wondering, Mike, why are you being so harsh on this young man? Well, Jalen Kitna was arrested. He wasn't arrested for something like underage drinking or something that didn't necessarily cause harm to other people. Oh no, he was arrested for child now let me tell you the entire story. The very first thing worth bringing to your attention is the news release from the Gainesville Police Department. And this is what we have. On Wednesday, November 30th, 2022, members of the Gainesville Police Department and the Internet Crimes Against Children Division served a search warrant at 2308 SW38th Drive number 6. The investigation initiated when Gainesville Police received a cyber tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The cyber tip indicated that a Discord user distributed an image of child sexual abuse material through their platform. Further investigation by Gainesville Police Department Detective Montague revealed that two images were shared via Discord from the residents of 230SW 38th Drive number 6. The investigation also revealed that the probable Discord account holder was Jalen Kitna. Now, at this point, you're thinking to yourself, hey, they're saying it's probably Jalen Kitna. It's not him for sure. Oh no, it's not looking so 
good for John Kitna's son at this point. Because listen to this. Detective Montague contacted Kitna at the residence and interviewed him. Kitna stated that he remembered sharing the two images. But he believed them to be legal since he found them online. Kitna advised that he realized he should not have shared those two images. Based on the reaction from the other Discord user that he shared them with. Kitna advised shortly after that his Discord account was deactivated and that he assumed someone reported him to Discord. Kitna stated that he received an email from Discord stating that his account was deactivated due to violation of the terms of service. So pretty much someone reported Jalen Kitna for sharing images that I don't really understand why humans would want to see. Kitna's electronic devices were seized as part of the search warrant. Preliminary analysis of the devices revealed three additional images of child abuse material. The Gainesville Police Department arrested Kitna for two counts of distribution of child exploitation material and three counts of possession of child this is not just one count of Jalen Kitna maybe having some sort of misunderstanding or anything of that sort. He's a repeat offender, at least that's what is alleged. Two counts of distribution and three counts of possession. So yeah, this is not just a coincidence. That argument is completely out the window. The Gainesville Police Department wants parents to be aware that children are solicited and exploited through social networking applications. Those social networking applications like Discord, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, and Tagged are also used to share images and videos which depict young children being abused. Please be vigilant and aware of any social networking platforms your children may access. So as a result of this, Jalen Kitna has been arrested. I mean, here's his mugshot right here. And to be honest, man, I have empathy. Just in general, I'm a very empathetic person, except when it comes to this. I have no empathy whatsoever for a human being that participates in this type of behavior or in these types of activities. I can't even fathom being interested in something like this. And I think what bothers me the most is from a very super superficial level, you're like, what's wrong with you, you sick human being trying to distribute child and then you think of what this does to children psychologically and how it ruins them. I mean, you're literally just ruining a child's innocence. I don't know how he obtained the photograph, so I don't want to go off and accuse him of something that potentially might not be true. But every single time I think of something like that, every time you bring into the story, like the EDPs of the world, that's the very first thing I think of. For your selfish gain, you are ruining a child's innocence. Now, of course, as a result of this, the Florida Gators had this to say, we are shocked and saddened to hear of the news involving Jalen Kitna. These are extremely serious charges and the University of Florida and the University Athletic Association have zero tolerance for such behavior. And as a result, Florida has suspended backup QB Jalen Kitna indefinitely after his arrest on child charges. The Florida Gators did their research and decided that they're going to officially kick Jalen Kitna off the team. And so this is what ESPN has to say as of today. Jalen Kitna is facing two counts of distribution of child exploitation material and three counts of possession of child porn. Two of the five charges which still need to be formalized by the state attorney's office are second degree felonies that could result in a prison term of up to 15 years and a fine of up to $10,000. The other three are third degree felonies. Now Kidna was released from jail on an 80,000 bond on Thursday with the conditions of his release including an order not to have any unsupervised contact with minors and not to have any internet access. His parents, John and Jennifer Kitna, promised Judge Michonne Rawls that they would supervise their 19 year old son at home in Burleson, Texas. Now this is what I mean when I say this man's life is just screwed because this is more than just getting kicked off of a football team. This is more than just potentially going to jail for up to 15 years, but he was also kicked off of the University of Florida campus. I mean, the University of Florida Police Department issued him a trespass warning that bars him from campus for three years pending the outcome of his court case. Kidna also would need to have to go through a student code of conduct hearing to be eligible to return. It's just really sad. I mean, I usually look at this from multiple perspectives. I mean, this man, if what is accused is true, should rest in piss and literally spend the rest of his days in jail. But it also bothers me from the perspective of wasted opportunity, wasted potential. I mean, I know this is at the very bottom of the totem pole compared to the crime that he's being accused of, but it just really bugs me. I guess it's because I've really had to work really, really, really hard to get to the point that I'm 
on that, where I get to enjoy a job that I truly love more than anything. And it just bothers me whenever a young man like Jalen Kitna is presented with this awesome opportunity to be the backup QB for the Florida Gators. I mean, who knows what you could make out of that situation? You don't even need to be a quarterback in the NFL. I mean, look at people like Cliff Kingsbury, for instance. He was able to leverage his connections during his time as a backup quarterback into eventually being a NFL head coach and making millions and millions of dollars. I mean, you can look at the goofy smile on his face every single time you watch Hard Knocks or just look at the viral photo of him in his draft room in his home to know that this is a man that is really appreciative of the life that he lives and very thankful for the blessing he received in the form of his NFL head coaching job. It's just sad. It's wasted opportunity. You could have lived a really freaking good life if you weren't just some sick f so at the end of the day, if what is alleged is true, I hope this man sees bars. Out of all the stories I've ever had to cover in terms of athletes going to prison, this is up there with the matter raises situation. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.